it's me, Sophia. Today, I wanted to talk about can versus could. One of you guys requested it in one of the comments in another video, I think, so I just decided to make a video because a lot of foreigners and a lot of people speaking different languages get these two terms mixed up. There are three main ways that can and could differ. Firstly, ability versus possibility. Secondly, tenses. And lastly, being polite versus being not polite. And so I'll start with the first one. Ability versus possibility. First of all, let's just, I'll help you guys pronounce the words. Follow me, can. One more time, can. It's not can like the can of like vegetables or the can of soup. That's like the open can lid. Wait, no, that was drawn really badly. Not like the can. I tried. Of tomato soup, let's say. That doesn't look like a tomato. It's not a can of tomato soup. Those cylindrical bottles or tubes. They're can, like a verb. I can do it. Like that kind of can. And next, could. Follow me, could. One more time, could. Good job. Now, let's move on. Ability versus possibility. Follow me, ability. One more time, ability. Next, possibility. One more time, possibility. So, if you see, they end with the same thing, ability and possibility. So, they kind of sound similar and they rhyme. And now, let's start. Which one do you think is ability and which one do you think is possibility? Let's think about it for a few moments. I have an example. I can run five miles. Now, do you think that is an ability to do something or a possibility to do something? And, by the way, ability means that you are actually... Wait, I don't want to spoil it. But I'll spoil it. It's fine. You can do it. Ability is for sure you know that you can do it. Like, in this sentence, I used can a lot of times because can goes with ability. I can run five miles. That means that you for sure know that you can do that. I can run five miles, but if you said, I could run five miles, it means that maybe you can do it, maybe you could do it, just maybe, you're not sure. It's just a possibility. It's a possibility, because you're not sure about it. You're just thinking it. I'll, I'll draw a picture to help you understand. So I can run five miles. This means this person is actually running right now. This is like their breath. They have eyelashes and a nose. The hair can be in a ponytail. There we go. <laughs> I, Mm, that doesn't really look like anything. So pretend she's running. I can run five miles. So you know you can because you're running right now. And you know for sure that you can run five miles. But you could run five miles is thinking. You just thinking that maybe you could, maybe, just, you're not sure. I can run five miles and I could run five miles. So can goes with your ability of actually being able to do it and could is just a possibility. You could do it, but you're not, you cannot, can't do it, if that makes sense. You could do it, it's a possibility, but 
Saying that doesn't mean you can actually do it. Saying that means you can think you can do it, but you don't know for sure. And then nextly, the tenses. When I was younger, I could play the piano. So could is right there. When I was younger, this is a hint. So think about it. Do you think it's past tense or present tense? Which tense do you think it is? And this is a really big hint. Like a really big hint. So guess, think in your minds right now. And good guess, it is Wait, I'll write it here. Past tense, because it's when I was younger. That's way back when you were younger. I'm older now. Unless you're like a one-year-old watching this. But that still makes sense because you were younger when you were a newborn. And I'm pretty sure that there are no newborns watching this. So let's just say that this is past tense. When I was younger, I could play the piano. Now this implies that in the past, when you were younger, you knew how to play the piano, but you could have forgotten or something. Like, when I was younger, I took piano lessons and I knew how to play the piano, but then now I forgot everything and I can only play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. When I was younger, I could play the piano. That is past tense. And now let's move on to the next example. Oh, God, okay. But now, I can play the violin. This is another huge hint. This is a hint. Now, that's in the present. So you know that can is in present tense. I can play the violin right now. I can play the violin. That is present tense. Present tense. And when I was younger, I could play the piano. That is past tense. Basically, could is the past tense version of can. I'll write that here. I'll circle it with the blue marker so you can see better. There we go. And lastly, polite versus not polite. I will give you two more examples. I borrow a pen. So just think about it. Which one do you think sounds more polite and which one do you think sounds less polite? Think about it for a moment. I'll give you time. Based on these two examples, can I borrow a pen or could I borrow a pen? Polite or not polite? Okay, good guess because can is not polite and could is polite. Now, can is not rude, it's just less polite than could. Could I borrow a pen? So when you're talking to like a teacher, for example, you say, could I borrow a pen? You don't just go up to the teacher and say, can I borrow a pen? Because that would be just kind of rude. Not exactly rude, but less polite. Now you can say, I can, can I borrow a pen to like your friends or your family? Maybe not to your elders, but like your sister or your friends. Follow me. Can I borrow a pen? Or could I borrow a pen? Good job. As you can see, can is not polite and could is polite. And now let's have a small review. Follow me. Can. Could. 
And the first one is ability versus possibility. I can run five miles, which is your ability. You know for sure. I could run five miles. It is a possibility. You can just think it. Although you're not sure if you can actually do it. Next is tenses. When I was younger, I could play the piano. Could is past tense. When I was younger being a huge hint. Now I can play the violin. Can being present tense. And now being a huge hint as well. And lastly, polite versus not polite. Can I borrow a pen? You would say that to your friends or your siblings, but not your teachers, because it is less polite. Could I borrow a pen is polite. You would say that to your teachers or your parents or your grandparents or your elders. People you should respect. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Bye!